Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, I am back today, boom, and today is my first ever classic Doctor Who series review. In fact, I think it's my first ever classic Doctor Who review, but yeah. So, recently I fully watched my first series of classic Doctor Who. I've always seen like the odd story here and there, and yeah, I've enjoyed it, but this time I watched season... 19. Is it 19? You know by the title, and you know because you clicked on the video. But yeah, Peter Davison's first series as the Doctor, and I've got to say, it's absolutely brilliant. I loved it from start to finish, even though Time Flight was a bit meh. Everything else was absolutely brilliant. So I am going to go through each individual episode, and as I normally do, have a little bit of a ramble and share my thoughts. So, kaboom, episode one, Castrovalva. And yeah, I've got to say, really great regeneration story, if not regen post regeneration story, very good. Um, I've watched Legopolis, I think that's the way you say it, Legopolis as well, and brilliant finale for Tom Baker, I think. And I loved that as an introduction story. I know a lot of it is just walking around the TARDIS and things, but yeah. And I've got to say, the first five minutes of that completely just captured me and made me, like, pulled me into the story. Don't know why, but yeah, I thought it was really, really good. And I love Adric and the companions. And I know a lot of people out there are like, uh, Adric's horrible, but can't lie. It, for me, he's actually a really good companion. And I think he has the dynamic really well with Peter Davison. For a little bit of context... The other full series at the moment that I've watched of Classic Who is, can't remember the numbers, but Tom Baker, Lala Ward and Matthew Waterhouse. Those three, The Doctor, Romana 2 and Adric are my favourite classic TARDIS team. And yeah, I think they do really well and really enjoy it. Nissa and Tegan, they're alright. They're just sort of all right. I've only watched the first series of them, too. I don't know if they stay on. I know Tegan does. Don't know what happens with Nyssa, but yeah. Anyway, bringing us on to episode two, <laughs> Four to Doomsday. Can't lie, it's quite forgettable. And there's not much I can talk about because I've already forgotten a lot of it. It was enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but it's not the most memorable or outstanding, unique concept or idea. <laughs> Just sort of yeah, it's alright. It'll do. Just, you know, generic Doctor Who filler. Now, episode three, Kinder. And, yeah, I quite like this one. The set setting, not set, of, like, the forests and all the people and everything. Yeah, I think it's quite good. And Peter Davison's Doctor, for me, in this story, that's when I first went, you know what? He's really good. And, yeah, I think, still think he is. And, yeah, overall, Kinder... Good episode. Now, The Visitation. This one I really quite liked. And yeah, part one and part two were a bit like dragging and slow. But after that, it really picks up. And I've got to say, it's brilliant. And one of the things I absolutely love about Doctor Who, and I think New Who should do a lot, lot more. And this series does it quite frequently, is explain historical events like... Uh, the visitation at the end, that's the why the Great Fire of London started. I loved that, and I was sat there going, you know what, that's actually really clever. Well done, whoever wrote that. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say visitation, very good story. Next, Black Orchid, I think Orchid is how you say it. And surprisingly, this is my favourite classic Doctor Who story ever, I'd say. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? I loved it. I thought it was really, really clever. It's nice and short, more resembling modern Doctor Who. I think it's only two episodes long. Might be three. But yeah, <laughs> two episodes, I think. And yeah, I've got it. It's really good. I like all the little twists, detective mystery style. And I love because I've often thought in my head, hang on, if you're an alien and you're stuck with a like police force or whatever going, Ah, you're an intruder. Just go, look, it's a TARDIS. It's clear. It's a spaceship. I've got to be from space. And he does it in this episode, which, yeah, well done. Brilliant. 
that brings us on to the next episode, Earthshock. Brilliant. Uh, that The ending is one of my favourite Doctor Who endings of all time. Spoilers, if you haven't seen it, go away. Adric's death, I think, is handled really well. And it is quite emotional. And, yeah, I... The, those designs of the Cybermen are a bit iffy to me. They're all right. They're not horrendous. But yeah, overall, I'd say very, very good story. And Peter Davison is doing really good. And also, as I mentioned with uh, the visitation, I love the way it links all of the, like, well, the Cyberman ship thingy that crashes. That's the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. And it's all there at the beginning. And it's... Yeah, it's wonderfully clever, and yeah. And if I'm being honest, that should have been the finale. It should end with, oh no, Adric's dead. But no, we get this. I haven't looked on the internet to see what the reviews of Time Flight are, but honestly, I can't expect them to be great. It, to me, this is the only bad episode out of all of the this series. It's just... When the Master's disguised as What's-His-Face, that, that character there, I just, why? It's so unnecessarily weird, in my opinion, but I don't know, if you like it, fair enough. It's not horrendous, it's just not brilliant. And yeah, I think they should have ended on Earthshock with a big shock, rather than the weirdness of Time Flight. But... Oh well. So, Doctor and Companions. I'd say Peter Davison is very strong as the Doctor in this series. He's, yeah, brilliant. I, well, yeah, I love his little cricket thing. Like, it's British and relatively old-fashioned. I know people still play cricket. My brother never stops playing cricket. But, yeah, I love that about his Doctor, having that little unique thing about him. And yeah, uh, overall, very strong companions and TARDIS team and very strong series. So yeah. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. If you want me to review, re blah, if you want me to review more classic series slash seasons, I don't know what we call them, of Doctor Who, then write in the comments which one. And hopefully I'll be able to do it because also, if any of you know any way of watching them without getting tons of DVDs, because... Yeah, I'm going to run out of DVDs soon, so how do I watch classic Doctor Who without spending hundreds on DVDs, or do I just have to go out and spend hundreds on DVDs? Anyway, ramble over, thank you for watching, remember... <laughs> what am I doing? Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff, you know what you're doing, thank you for watching and goodbye.